I'm Steve Good. Welcome to my scroll saw workshop. We're going to do something today that uh, is a pretty fun project and what we're going to do is we're going to cut a nameplate out of acrylic. Now this is a little different material than we've ever used here on the scroll saw workshop before uh, but it's one that's a lot of fun and in this case I'm going to cut a name plaque out. Now you could also use this material for cutting mini clocks or just about any scroll saw project you want. Uh, to do this project today, obviously you're going to need uh, some acrylic scraps and I bought these at the uh, Saw Expo 2008 from PS Woods and I'll try to leave a link on the uh, website is where you can find this material. You're also going to need a blade that's capable of cutting acrylic and uh, I also picked up the, these scroll saw blades at PS Woods booth at the Expo uh, and they said this was the, uh, the blade they recommended to cut acrylic with. It's the PS Wood Machine Super Sharps and it happens to be a number 7 blade. We're going to uh, apply the pattern to the acrylic using the spray adhesive and then cover it with tape just like we do with all the projects here at the Scroll Saw Workshop. And one of the things I found uh, that was really difficult was removing the tape residue from the acrylic after the project was finished. So um, I recommend getting some of this goo going and it did a really good job of getting that residue off the final piece. The last thing you're going to need, and this is what makes this project a little different, is we're going to use a uh, blowtorch to actually smooth out the acrylic after we finish cutting. Uh, you'll see that uh, when we finish the cut right off the saw, the saw blade leaves a frosted look on all the edges. Now I personally think that looks fine, uh, but if you don't and you want to smooth it out, the fastest or easiest way uh, is to use the blowtorch. So you're going to want to do this project in a well ventilated area. Uh, you will probably catch the acrylic on fire just slightly and you'll see when we use the, the blowtorch that uh, I have that problem myself. So make sure you're in a well ventilated area and as always when you're using an open flame use a, a caution with that. Okay with that we'll head on over to the scroll saw and we'll get, cut, uh, get to cutting this pattern out. I'm over here at the scroll saw and uh, I've prepared the piece of acrylic just like I would a wood pattern. Um, I've gone ahead and applied the pattern to the acrylic with the spray adhesive and covered it with uh, the clear masking tape or box tape like we always do on any wood project. For this project I'm trying a different blade uh, just because it was uh, what was recommended to me. I'm using the PS Wood Machine Super Sharps and this happens to be a uh, number seven blade and we're going to give this a chance, uh, try and see how it does on this acrylic and then uh, I think I'll also do a few test cuts with uh, my regular Flying Dutchman blades and see how they do also. I have turned the speed of the saw down quite a bit and I'm going to go ahead and cut out this little uh, nameplate and we'll see how it goes. The reason I've got the speed of the saw turned down so much is I'm trying to prevent uh, the acrylic from melting back together as I go through the curve. And uh, I haven't had a lot of practice cutting acrylic, so I really don't have the speed fine-tuned uh, yet to exactly what I'm able to cut. So I'm really going to cut this piece out slow, and uh, we'll see where we end up. I'm also not uh, familiar with these blades yet. and. Uh, so it's going to take a little practice for me to get this down to where I can cut with any speed. So far it seems to be cutting pretty well. I don't seem to be having any melting of the acrylic. And the blades seem to be tracking the line pretty well.
Okay, we're just about to finish up this cut. And uh, hopefully, if we haven't generated too much heat with this blade, then the acrylic will be able to pull, pull the uh, finished piece out of the acrylic without it sticking together too bad. Okay, I'm going to try to get this piece apart now. And uh, we'll see how well it comes out. And boy, it came out uh, absolutely perfectly. And uh, really pleased with the way that blade cut. We'll take this piece back over to the uh, uh, table and get the pattern off of it. And I'll show you how we're going to finish this piece out. Back over here at the uh, assembly table now. And I've taken the time to remove the pattern and uh, clean off as much of the glue as I possibly can. still needs a little more cleaning. Now there's a couple things to think about when you finish this. One is, you know, where the uh, blade cut the pattern out, it leaves kind of a frosted edge on the, uh, on the sides of the piece. And if you're happy with that look, that's fine. Go ahead and use it. But I want to go ahead and show you a technique for uh, smoothing out any scratches that you might have uh, had in the piece and uh, just giving it a general uh, shinier look to the finished project. And uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a torch to actually heat uh, the acrylic and let it melt just a little bit. So uh, I'll get that set up and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, take these edges that are looking frosted right now and go ahead and try to smooth them out a little bit. And we're going to do that with a small butane torch. Uh, you can use uh, just about any torch. This one's probably going to be a little hot for the job. And we're going to have to be very careful down here on this bottom edge because it's a pretty thin piece of uh, acrylic and if we're not careful we're going to warp it. So. I'm going to go real slow and I'm just going to slowly and we won't videotape this whole thing. I'm just going to get you started and show you how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my torch on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this torch over the frosted area of this uh, piece and also if I've got any bad scratches on the surface we can smooth those out too. But again we're going to have to be very careful down here on the bottom of this piece not to work it. And this takes a little while uh, so be patient. It will catch on fire if you leave the heat on it too long. Uh, so keep the torch moving like this and uh, just uh, let it take however long it takes. You'll see here just in a little while, you'll see all this uh, frosted look start to really clear up. It also softens the edges a little bit of the piece. Here's our finished acrylic uh, nameplate, and uh, as you can see, uh, the scroll saw does a pretty good job on this three-quarter inch acrylic. Um, you can spend a little more time with the torch, uh, smoothing it out and getting rid of the uh, frosted edges. Uh, personally, I like the frosted edges, and I'll probably just go ahead and uh, keep the other patterns that I cut, uh, just like you know that with the edges. So. Uh, be careful when you try this project. Obviously, uh, the fumes from this acrylic and just the fire potential are there. So, uh, try this in a very well uh, ventilated area and uh, be careful with the flame. Okay, thanks for stopping by the scroll saw workshop. I hope you enjoyed this project and we'll see you in the next video.